Good morning, everyone in Corpus Christi, Texas. This is Sabino here. I have something for you to help you, to encourage you how to carry on in life. When life throws big and heavy, devastating things, devastating blows. Maybe you lost your job, maybe you got laid off. Maybe someone's very sick and you're full of worry. It could be anything, but let me tell you something. It starts in Matthew, Matthew chapter 6, 33 and 34. Maybe you know this one. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And 34 is, Take no thought for the morrow, for the morrow will take thought for itself. Right? Because... The evil will always continue and it will always be there and things will always come into your life no matter what. Jesus does not promise us that you will never encounter catastrophes, um, troubles up ahead. But he does promise you one thing, that he will be near. He will be with you and he'll be able to help you to get through these storms. Storms, they come and go. Some may come slowly and pass over you slowly and you wish it to be gone, but it will not because this is to strengthen us, to help us to learn through experience in order to carry ourselves with Jesus Christ, knowing his promises that he will be with us and he will give us the strength in order to endure and we, when we do come out of that storm, that's where God gets the glory. That's where we can give him the glory. That's where we can testify of what he's done for us. Isn't that a, amazing? Isn't that a, uh, something great to do? Like we can have all these testimonies, what God got us through, through COVID, maybe through a death in the family, maybe through... Uh, when we lost our job or something like that and then uh, he came through with some a better job or the continuation in order to spread the gospel with someone else see we can't be so engrossed within ourselves within our own lives and everything for us what what am i going to get next you know what's best for me remember we're here to help out each other we're here to encourage each other and to minister to people to win souls we can't forget about what why we are here for the Lord has a plan and a purpose and he has uh, he has promised us a mansion up in heaven to live eternity with him so what I want to say is that's the ultimate when you go to the next life where are you gonna end up are you born again have you accepted Jesus Christ in your life is Jesus your rock, your foundation? Is that what you're standing on? Is that what your family's standing on? Is everyone in your family born again, saved, covered by the blood of Jesus? This is concerns, you know, our neighbors, our enemies even. We should love them and pray for them also. That's what Jesus says. So we're here to win souls. We're here to minister, uh, to spread the gospel to every creature around us, our neighbors, around the world via internet, Facebook, whatever platform you're blessed with. Let's take advantage of these tools that we have. Let's take advantage of the mouth you got on you that you can speak and uh, minister, minister to people. You know, pray for people, pray for one another. Just some encouragement, like I said, you know, that we got to remember Matthew 6, it says, stay focused on the Lord. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. It doesn't say seek ye first a career or seek first your own family to stabilize them. Or no, it's to focus on the Lord, what his will is. And how do you know what the will is? Jesus tells us over and over in the New Testament. 
right? To love the Lord thy God with all your heart, all your mind, soul, and your strength. To love your neighbor. Be ye kind one to another. Tenderhearted, forgiving one another as Jesus Christ has forgiven us. Uh, spread the gospel to every creature, right? To the ends of the earth. Healing people, right? Laying hands on people and ministering to them, counseling them. All throughout the New Testament verses, it tells us, Jesus tells us over and over what, what he expects of us, what the Father expects of us. So we are to be obedient and unselfish and to carry on this legacy of Jesus Christ. God bless y'all today. I hope y'all got something out of this. Remember, I'm always praying for y'all, uh, for the unity of the body of Jesus Christ, for all of us Christians to get together and to be obedient and to follow God's will. And that we can all work together as one body. That's how we're going to get forward is we all work together instead of in the individuals putting on partitions, divisions within the church. We need to work together, get together, love each other, forgive each other, okay? God bless you today. In the name of Jesus, amen.